Hey guys, it's Heather. So yep, we're, we're here. We're, here we are again, another Timu haul. But I thought I'd mix it up a little bit for you guys, and we're just doing a nail haul. And I'm telling you, they have a lot of nail products. <laughs> I was shopping around for a, a long time, and my cart got so full. Like Timu was like, okay, you have enough. You guys ever had so much stuff in your cart at Timu where Timu was like, excuse me. You need to do something because you have too many items in your cart. Either get rid of it or check out. And I was like, oh. <laughs> okay. Two bags full of nail products. Now, what did I get? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. I do know we got a lot of press-ons. Here's why. I'd like to say that I am a press-on expert the good old-fashioned like let's glue these things on and we're ready to go i'm gonna label myself as an expert am i an expert probably not but in my mind i am i could really go down the rabbit hole with this one and like talk your guys's ear off about my knowledge the heather knowledge that i have of press on nails or glue on nails you guys i'm i'm pretty cool delicious anyway you guys like grab a snack okay we're gonna have some fun I got uh, water for hydration um, caffeine because why not it's two o'clock in the afternoon sometimes you need a two o'clock coffee okay and then of course we got the good old pure sugar no nutritional value the beverage of champions refined sugar I feel like my eye just twitched. You know what I just noticed? I don't have rings on. Like I don't even know how to talk to you guys without my rings. So those that are new here, I typically do my Timu hauls. I'll do one video where it's just like, let's open it up and let's take a look at it. What'd you get? Like I'm gonna show you what I got. Like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you. I'll do another video after this and we'll play with all this stuff and we'll try it out and we'll see how good it is. Like if you love Timu, I am ne I'm officially hooked on Timu, okay? So you go ahead and you click that subscribe, turn your notifications on because I, I got so many more variety of Timu videos coming up. You guys can't handle it. You can't handle it. You, I mean, maybe you can. I mean, I'm not here to judge, but you might be able to handle it. But any, let's let's give it a let's test it. Subscribe, turn your notifications on. Let's see if you can handle all the Timo videos I got coming up for you guys. It's intense. Okay, let's get into this one. Let's open this little one. <clears throat> all right, let's. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so you guys, I really hope that these are going to be good. You know, they come in like a 24 pack, 24 pack. But then there's some that I got that only come like there's 10 and you have to select your size. It's just small, medium, large, I believe. Um, so I'm really dying to know if those are like, like what the heck is with that? Are those like super high quality? Like what, like what am I looking at here? You guys, I got so many freaking things. <laughs> This one's a 24 pack, so there's 24 of these. Yes, it shows a whole bunch of cute ones like this, but they're not all like that. I wanna say a majority of them are just like plain. So they're just showing you some of the real fun ones. Like let's open one up and I'll, I can show you. There are a couple of them that I bought two packs of them because I wanted to wear more of like the, the more f like fancier ones, I guess you could say. So, um, so those are the, the cute ones, like I showed you. And then the rest of them, like a transparent glitter. And then there's this one. Um, those are freaking cute. Another set of 24. I can't wait to find the ones that are just a pack of 10 because I want to see like what's the big deal with those like those have got to be some friggin high end some friggin high end thick nails just to get 10 you know what I mean these looked fun I can't imagine that star would stay on very well this 
one is so friggin' precious. It's so cute. I always have glue on me because if something pops off my nail, put it right back on. <laughs> I use the Big Bondini nail glue. I get these on Amazon. It's like seven, eight dollars. It's not too bad. These are kind of sweet because they're just they're they're delicate and sweet. I really hope that these are thick. But like I said, we'll go over all that when we do my review of this. Which I'm gonna assume some of these are gonna be thick and some of them are just gonna be a flop. But it's hard to tell from a picture and not knowing all these different like brands of which ones are going to be thick because we have this brand, we have that brand so far, and then we have this brand. So like they're all different. And here's another different nail brand. Um, this is a set of 24. These were kind of cool. These look fun. Oh my gosh, I got so many of these 5D nail art stickers. <laughs> the 5D ones are so cute. So some of you guys that do nail art, you guys are friggin' amazing. I am not, I am not amazing at nail art. Okay, I know you should talk positive about yourself, but let's just say it what it is. I'm not good at art. <laughs> I, I can draw a really cute like stick person. And then like sometimes I can do a stick person that's like waving at you. Because instead of having the two arms go down, I have one up. And he looks like he's waving at you. Like that's my art level. There, it's not a super flat sticker. Like these are raised up. It's 5D. What's 5D? I have no idea. But... Okay, I'm gonna get these all out of their little um, their little bags so you guys can see them better because you really can't see them because of that sticker that's on the front. So let me get them all out here for you, then I'll show you. These are cool here too because it's like for the tip of the nail. You'd have to have the right shape. That's like an almond shape so you'd have to have the, the right shape nail for this. These ones are more squared or like a coffin um, shape I think they're called. There's lots of uh, uh, shapes and nails. There's the square, coffin, almond, stiletto, rounded. Like I prefer the square or the coffin. I think it complements like my fingers the best. The stilettos are friggin' dangerous. Those are the ones that go to like that that sharp point. So this is the rhinestone glue. Um, this will be really interesting to review and try out. Um, I did get rhinestones and a whole bunch of other things that we can glue down on our nails. This is just the little bag. We still have that real big bag. You guys, all right, shut your face. Okay, so the other things that were in this little bag are um, little like packages of rhinestones and butterflies and flowers. So towards the end, we'll go over those with my phone and I'll have it right here and I'll, we'll do that like towards the end. So what's in here? I have cell phone cases in here. <laughs> what is this? I forgot my favorite phone cases. Did you guys go get some of these phone cases? Remember the last Timu haul that I did, you guys, I told you about these friggin' phone cases. I wasn't lying. Like, I still have it on my phone. This little thing has not popped off. It's one of those things that kind of helps you hold your phone. You can just choose to put it on or not. If you don't want to have it on your phone, you don't have to. Um, it does rotate too a little bit, so. This is the color that I had got last time. Um, and then I went back on there, got the dark one and the lighter one. I just wanted to snatch them up before they were gone. <laughs> like, what are these? I don't know. What is that? What did I do? What did I get? Show me what I get. 
Oh yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, what are these? Because we are going to learn how to do our own nail design, right? We're gonna do that. Okay, we're gonna do that, we're gonna learn how. So these are um, super fine nail brushes. They're so friggin' talented and then they, they go like this with a little line. And it's like, I would totally be like, And then they have like little holes in them on the top, I guess, for like, for it to like air out, I guess. I don't know. How fine those are. Those are cute. So a UV um, LED nail lamp, but I got a cute pink one. Got a little cord at 30, 60, or 90. This is kind of like, it feels a little bit cheaper than like the one that I have, but It'd be interesting to see, like, do you really have to spend a lot of money on a UV light? Or is there a difference with, like, super high-end UV lights or, like, the really cheap UV lights? Does it just mean that you have to run it through a few more times if you have a cheaper light? Or or, or what? Like, I'm totally, like, clueless with that. So, um, please educate us if you know. I would love to hear that. Like, don't be gatekeeping. You share your knowledge. You share it. I'm gonna sip on my refined sugar. There's so many friggin' little things in here. <laughs> How on earth are we gonna get through all of this? Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. Okay, so this is another thing that's not the nail art, but I wanted to grab it. Oh, here's something else too. Oh my gosh, what was I doing? I thought I bought just nail stuff, but... um. I got a couple of things in here that are not. What was I thinking? I think the rest of it is nail. Might be a cat toy in there, but whatever. These are the cutest coasters. Friggin' go get them. It's so simple. All it is is they're just wood thing. Yeah, you could go do it and cut them out yourself, but why would you do that? Like, you might break a nail. A 10 pack, it was just a couple of bucks. You know, like it's not terrible. I just think they look cute. Go get you some, okay? Just go get some. Never. Just go get it. You guys, you have no clue what you're in for with this, right? Magic Sakura. It's a tree that like expands and like foams up and it gets all like crazy. Have you guys seen these? I wish they had like a, a picture where you can kind of see the picture. It's like right here. I wanna say it's made of like cardboard. So whatever they have in here, you pour this solution on it and then it turns into like this, like all of a sudden you have this huge like 3D. And I thought that would be like fun just for us to do and play with, you know, and like when we review stuff. Okay. Is it something we need? No. Do I have children in my home? No. Am I a child deep inside? This was cute. They had a whole variety of them. It's that twine rope stuff and then it has like um, like leaves on it. Oh my God, they have a lot of glue on there. Is that the cutest? Like, can you see it? I have no clue what I'm gonna use it for. None. Okay, one more thing, I swear, then we'll get right back into the nails. I saw this when I was scrolling. And I went, did a Yui, went back. And I was like, what is that? I have no intentions of using this for anything. I just wanted to see it. It looks so glitzy and over the top and it's like, what the heck is that for? Is it for a costume? It's like, it has a little pin on it. So it's like a little brooch kind of a thing. They are flexible. I didn't know what they were. They are flexible, so um, I don't know if you're making like a little princess dress for someone or maybe like putting it on your curtain on a, trying to think of like different ways to use this. If you're making a princess dress, right? Or you have a little girl that is a princess, get a few of these and like, even if you just had them like up in the corners of the curtains or, but it does have the little, the little pin in the back. I'd love to hear some ideas on what you could use that for. So cute. 
so cute. Now we'll get back into the nails. You guys are gonna be, we need to, should I start counting how many friggin' nails I have? Hold on, let me, let me get them all out. Where's the 10 packs? Oh, here's a 10 pack. Okay, I found one of the 10 packs. So this is one of those ones where it's just 10. And then you select your size. And there is a size chart. So I grab larges and we're gonna see if they fit my, my fingers. I want to say I got several pair. I don't think I got too many of the 10 pack. I didn't want to get them and then they not fit. Like they're just, they're too small. They do not come with glue. You know, the UV light that we just got. Um, so this is like a pen. This is, this is a UV pen. You're putting something on and you need to set it with the UV light. You can just use your little pen. Like the rhinestone glue that we got. So um, that'll be fun. Get the little charger. And then it has like several little tips. Now I know nothing about this stuff, but they come with these little, I think they just go on the tip, right? And then does that like diffuse the UV light? I don't know, but I'm here to learn. We'll play with that when we do what? When we review this stuff, that's right. Good job guys, you're catching on. Oh, here's another 10 pack. Look at me. Oh, I didn't want to get too many 10 packs. I, I got I got some 10 packs. Oh, and then I just got a different brand of the rhinestone glue. Well, remember like when I said I didn't want to get too many 10 packs because I didn't know if they were gonna fit. Do you remember that statement I said? Well, I think I lied to you guys. I couldn't just, I couldn't say no. Okay. So a whole pack of these little toothpicks that have cotton on the ends, cleaning up an edge, whether you do crafts, nail art, whatever, I think these are just kind of handy to have on hand. Oh, nail tip glue. Some of these ones that are transparent, I wanted to try gluing them down with the nail tip glue and then setting it with a UV light. Oh, I wanted to try that. That'll be fun to try. I got some cuticle nippers. Um, these are really cute gold ones. Holy buckets, look at how cute those are. And they have the little um, little cap on there. I like that, that's cute. I got a couple of these little tools. Um, I'll show you these little tools. And then I think I'm gonna bring my camera like right here so we can see the rest of this stuff. So you guys can get a better view. I got a lot of nails, a lot of stickers, a lot of everything that I think you'll, you'll be able to get a better view if I just bring my, my phone and just have it right here, you know, for when I go to pop my nails off. Okay, yes, it's always best to soak your nails off. You should never force your nail to come off before it's ready to come off. I would think that any nail professional would tell you it's always best to soak them off. However, if my nails have been on for like 10 days and they only glue them on, you know, like they're just on with a little glue, um, usually about day 10 doesn't take much to get them off. It's curved and it's like a little paddle. This is like a little rose gold one. And then this one is just like a plain. This one seems a little more heavy duty than the, this rose gold one, um, but they seem nice. I just wanted a couple of different ones. And then I got a different nail tip glue um, just so we can try a different brand. So we got two rhinestone glues and two nail tip glues that um, need the UV to set them. Here's another little tool. I have these and I love them for my cuticle. These little tips for pushing your cuticle back. So it's like a very mild sandpaper, like very, it's not super, super coarse, very, very fine. I had picked up some of these before, fell in love with them and then I saw them again and I wanted to get more. So I grabbed a couple of more of those. All right, so let's look at the nails. <laughs> so here's those 10 packs that I was telling you guys about. But I thought these were so, so cute. Like the tips are crisp, like they're, they, they look like, you see what I mean with like these ones? Like, look at this one. Do 
these are slightly different than the other pink ones I showed you. These ones are gonna be like so long. I just wanted to get a look at these just to see like the quality size. Yeah, they fit like nice, but the length on these are just way too long for me. I wanted to see the quality of them. And then look at these ones. These are fun. We'll get a closer look at these um, next time. Though those are just 10 of them. Um, then we have these ones. So we got those ones. Those are really sweet. I like the, I like these a lot. These ones are very sweet. They remind me of like a mermaid nail. Just with the blue and the glitter. Reminds me of like tropical waters. If you're going on vacation or something. I'm really impressed with these ones that are tens so far. Um, just because I know they're not going to bend on you. You're just limited to the size. So these ones I got in a two, I got two of them just because I really like the butterflies and the rhinestones that are on these. So they were really inexpensive. So that's why I got two of those. These ones are crazy long, but I figure I could trim them if they're too long. Let's take a look at these. You could trim those down if you wanted to, if they were too long for you. So I really, really like these. These are so cute. Lots of little butterflies. Got these blue ones, which I do already have these. So I grabbed another one because I wanted a second set. Just sizing and the fun ones. They only give you a few of the fun ones. So um, I wanted another set of those. Here's these. These would be cute for Valentine's Day. I should put these ones on next. Those are cute. This one, I got two of them because of these fun glitter. They're not even glitter. I think it almost seems like pink sand that they put on two nails. Got these ones. And these. We'll get all of these out when we do the review. We'll get them all out of their boxes and we can look into them a little bit more. Some of the other fun things that we got for, to add onto our nails, these fun lips for like Valentine's Day or for whatever, whole variety of different sized bubbles. Hopefully you guys can tell, but the bigger ones you can tell more. These are like pearls. These are rhinestone teddy bears where their bellies are rhinestones. Some of these roses, these are 3D. The roses are pretty big. I like the whole line of how these looked, whatever you want to call those. Then we got the flames, the hearts, and the stars. Some metal heart um, charms. And then just a ton more of these. These are cute. Want to put one on each nail. These I think are more of like, like wraps. Or are they supposed to be like a stencil maybe? Like you lay them on the nail and then you kind of put your paint over the top and then peel it off? I'm not sure. But either way, these are freaking cool. Just grabbed a whole variety of different, like here's black ones, here's gold and silver, all the same. And white, the same thing. These are just fun like little flowers. These looked really fun for Valentine's Day. Let's get this out. For like the tips of your nail. You know, you can just stick that on the tip. Little sweets. It's gonna be fun just trying to organize this stuff because I have a sick mind and I love to organize some. They're like raised up. Hopefully you guys can see like how they're raised up. Of these little flowers, but um, this is another raised up one. But you can see right there like how raised up they are. Have some of these ones that are really nice and flat. 
Um, these little butterflies, I do want to let you know, they're very, very flat. I love that there's a bunch of colors. Something like that might work a little bit better for to get one of these little wax sticks to help you pick them up. But um, these little butterflies, they're super cute. They're really little and they're very, very flat. So if that's what you're looking for, like these are really cute. Um, if you're looking something more 3D that kind of sticks out, that's more of like a rhinestone. That's not what these are, but. When you get your rhinestones, pay attention to if they're flat bottom ones or or not depending on what you're looking for i like these they're flat bottom ones whole variety of sizes so that's what these are and then i got two packs of these different sizes what they are they're little flowers and then they each come with um like a little center for the flower they're plastic they're kind of thick so they're not super flat you have a couple different sizes of each color flower um it's just a giant sheet they're kind of sticking together a little bit but look at all of these they're just so like tiny anyway so then i got a couple of packages of these little they come with a variety of things that are in them Some rhinestones. Oh, that one just shot across the room. <laughs> That's why sometimes it's best to use these when you're picking up some of these little things so you don't lose like some of these rhinestones um, because it does stick and you don't have to worry about it flying across the room. But some pieces are bigger. Look at that. I love all these little rhinestones. Aren't they cute? Here's a different one same thing but just different colors the roses are pink I was kind of hoping they, that these were stackable but they're not I mean you they do stick on top of each other but I didn't know if they were clicking into each other but anyway all right guys that was it so much fun just a bunch a bunch of nail stuff um that I just couldn't pass up but yeah so I, I went a little overboard with the rhinestones and the stickers because uh uh they're it, it's super affordable <laughs> don't judge <laughs> all right guys thanks so much for hanging out with me and i'll see you on my next one bye